the South African context for transport is big enough for all of our major transport sectors to, to play a very, very influential role. Um, we, we also need to be very, very clear what each one's meant to do, but at the same time, do what we say we're going to do as well. Um, rail is very important, I think, in terms of getting your bulk freight services, long haulage, rail's probably the, the most efficient mode, uh, but it requires a very efficient operation there to be in place. And then your first mile, last mile is, is predominantly where your trucking industry can play a fairly influential role. Um, okay, that deals with the bulk freight, but if you look at passenger as well, passenger is very similar. There has to be this integration between your passenger network and your bulk freight networks so, so that we can coexist on, on key networks where there's some overlap. Um, and fortunately, those conversations and those interactions are happening. Uh, on the other side of things as well, this is where your taxi industry could come into play, and I'm not necessarily talking about informal or minibus taxis. I'm talking the likes of the formal taxi industry, paid meter taxis, as well as your, your Uber type of uh, interactions. So I think the, the South African context has applicability. It just needs to be very, very clear how it's going to be done. And it possibly needs far more involvement and integration with local authorities, municipal managers, mayors, um, possibly even national uh, leadership as well in the country. So the future for transport very depends very much on, on how we plan to um, stimulate the economy. I think Transnet will play a very, very vital role into that, specifically as an end-to-end -end logistics services provider. Um, and I think it will just require a different approach to how infrastructure is delivered and how transport is delivered. Um, in terms of the, the future, I think there's a very, very bright future for South Africa. There's plenty of opportunities to grow. But I think we also need to consider South Africa as SA Inc. as part of the bigger Africa context. Um, Africa is a very untapped market. And as, as Africans, as uh, most people would say, it takes an African to work in Africa. We know the continent. We know the country. We should just start sharing our learnings. Uh, multiple initiatives have been in place. I mean, you see what's going on with NEPAD, with SADC Triple P, as well as if you look in, I'm talking specifically on Transnet, the international initiatives going into Africa. Those conversations have started. And unfortunately, these conversations are highly strategic, so they will take time. But it doesn't mean that they're not happening, and it won't happen. I think it's, uh, it's very exciting to look at uh, long term for South Africa and Africa as a whole the value that we can add to each other. In terms of education, um, for me, it's a cornerstone of any economy. Um, there's, a, there's a skills shortage in general for engineers. Um, a lot of practical level engineers are required, but we must not lose the R&D component of it. To, the, the industry is, is so big yet so small, if, if I can actually use that paradox, that everybody has the ability to, to provide value and influence uh, from an educational point of view. And everyone actually needs to, possibly looking back as we, as we just started the conversation about understanding the role you're going to play into it. And, and play that role as best as you can. And once we start looking at that role, you'll find a whole host of other skills that will be required. Um, construction, maintenance, technology, uh, innovation is, is, I mean, innovation is a strategy, right, for growth. And those type of opportunities start to grow once your economy starts to thrive. I think we, as South Africans, tend to underestimate our capabilities. And uh, that's just the nature of being South African. I mean, South Africans in general are very polite. Um, yes, we, we can get aggressive, but we're generally polite. Uh, but I think we have the ability in the country. We just need to leverage it in the right way and for, for the right purpose. And we, we need leadership and direction to actually take that leverage and convert it into a proper action itself. Um, for me, in terms of funding, it requires us to be very, very clear on policy. Policy leads to strategy, which leads to implementation. And once that critical chain of events is very clear and it talks the same language, funding becomes a natural outcome of it. Um, that's the way I would look at it in my simple mind.